Good morning, class. So today, our discussion is about herbs and spices. So these are um, examples of herbs and spices. What, do you, what is the difference between herbs and spices? Herbs is our leaves, stems, or flowers of an aromatic plant. It's either fresh or dry. Dried herbs are stronger than fresh. When using dried herbs, you have to crumble or crush them to release flavor. When you say crumble, dudurugin mo sa kamay mo yung dry na herbs para lumabas yung flavor nito o kaya ikakrush mo. Okay, use 2 to 3 times more fresh than dry. So, kung gagamit ka ng fresh, dapat ang um, quantities mo, 2 to 3 times than dry. For example, um, you're using 2 leaves of fresh herbs. But if you are using dry, 1, one leaf only per leaf. Add fresh herbs at the end of cooking. So, kung gagamit po kayo ng fresh herbs, yan po ay nilalagay pagkatapos po lutuin yung tagkain. So, papatayin nyo na yung apoy. Next, spices. Uh, this are bark. O, pag sinabi po natin bark, ito yung first layer ng stem o balat ng puno, yung kulay brown. Roots, seeds, buds or berries of an aromatic plant. Usually dry, ground or whole, durog o kaya buo. It might be fresh such as ginger or yung luya. Store in a tightly covered containers in cool dry place. Now why were spices popular for trading? Bakit uh, very popular ang um, spices when it comes to trading. It was a uh, very lucrative, when you say lucrative, um, classy, transported easily. It improved uh, food and health. Many diverse uses for more spices. So, karamihan po sa mga uh, lugar or different countries, they use um, spices for uh, foods. Uh, very popular with the upper classes. Spicy food considered classy. It's a sign of wealth. Now let's have an activity. In your groups, take three or two minutes to discuss and list what you think are the top ten most used spices or herbs. So magsulat po kayo sa papel yung sa tingin yung top ten na herbs and spices familiar po kayo. So, start kayo sa 10. Okay. Then, hanggang doon pa punta sa 1. Okay. You may start. Okay. Very good. Ito po yung ating top 10 most used spices and herbs. Number number 10, rosemary. Number 9, nutmeg. Number 8, cinnamon. Number 7, cumin. Number 6, paprika. Number 5, bilubit. Number four, basil. Number three, oregano. And number two, pepper or whole peppercorn. And number one, garlic powder. Now, I'll show to you or I'll present it to you the different examples of um, herbs and spices. So, let's start sa herbs. Basil. So, this basil and this is used for um, Italian food. So, mostly, ito po ay nilalagay sa ginagawang garnish, hinahalo po sa pasta. Next one, bay leaf or bay leaves or ang tawag po natin dyan ay laurel. Okay, mostly, pag bay leaves, try it ang ginagamit po natin. And this is used for soups, stew, meats, and it's either you can use whole leaf but removes before serving. So, ang kailangan lang naman kasi natin dito ay flavor. So, pag isa-serve na to, kailangan hindi na siya sinasama before serving. Next one, 
chives. Okay, ito yung dahon ng sibuyas na maliliit. And this is used for potatoes, used as garnishes. You can also use this for seafood and soup. Next one, cilantro. Cilantro is a Mexican food Thai food, Thai food sauces. And you can also this uh, for salsa. Next deal, um, this is used for fish, potatoes, pickles, dips, carrots, and bread. Next one, lemon grass or in Tagalog, tanglad. And you can use this for chicken. Um, if you want to marinate chicken, you can add lemon grass. Uh, you can also use this for seafoods. Next one, mint. Mint is used for desserts, lamb, or karni ng tupa, and tea. Next one, parsley. Parsley is used as garnish. You can also use this for meat, cheese, salad, and etc. Next, rosemary. Rosemary is used for chicken. You can also use this for seafoods. You can also add this for um, preparing mushrooms or any vegetables. Next one, saj. Saj is a uh, Mediterranean, native of Mediterranean. And it belongs to mint family. And it's used for pork. You can use this for pork, turkey. You can use this for stuffing, and you can use this for cashew. And next one, thyme. Thyme is also herb, and is used for meat, poultry, mushroom, nuts, and potato. Now let's proceed to spices. So, these are examples of spices. Number one, all spice. It is a tropical evergreen tree berry. Okay, it includes um, nutmeg, cloves, cinnamon, and it's used for pickling, for stew, and for baking. You can uh, buy this in, in a supermarket. Usually, um, dry and fresh. Okay, next is black and white pepper or paminta okay pamintang uh, pute and or pamintang black these are berries pickled green darkened and shriveled upon drying white pepper berries ripen on vine outer hull removed the most widely used spice today so ito talaga yung mga ginagamit commonly na ginagamit spice, paminta. It's either white or black. Next one, cayenne. You can use cayenne in any food but can add lots of heat. Okay, cayenne is um, example of cayenne or habanero, uh, cayenne pepper, serrano, tabasco, or jalapeno. Poblano, pepperoncini, or yung common po sa atin, sweet bell pepper. That's cayenne. Next one, chill, chili powder. A chili powder is blend of, it is a blend of cumin, garlic, onion, and chili. Chili, this is a uh, sealing labuyo. Okay, hinaluan po ng cumin ng onion and garlic. Okay, this is common po sa text mix or usually inaad po sa barbecue. Next one is cinnamon. Uh, I think you're familiar with cinnamon. Cinnamon is the one of the oldest and most valuable spices. Tagal na po hindi nagamit ng cinnamon and it's considered uh, valuable is used only for dessert. I think you're familiar po sa cinnamon bread. 
Okay, cinnamon, spice po ang cinnamon. And then next, globes. Uh, it's immature flower buds. Okay, so yung buds ng flower, yung na-harvest na and then din na-dry. Okay, and ito po ay nilalagay po meats, stocks, sauces. And you can also use this for baking. Next one, coriander. It is a cilantro seeds. Okay, you can use this for variety of cooking. Okay, use this in savory and baked foods. Then, cumin. Uh, cumin is seeds. It is used uh, use crush Mexican foods or chicken. So, makakita po kayo ng cumin. Ano po yan? Uh, powder, dry. And, uh, patapang po yung amoy ng cumin. Pero, if you can add this, uh, sa food, usually Mexican foods po ito yung mga yung food. The next one is a ginger or luya. Okay, it is a root of plant. Usually this is a rhizomes. And it's used, you can all use this for baking. And ginagamit din po ang, ang luya sa mga Asian foods. Next one, nutmeg. It's a seed kernel inside a fruit. You can use this for baking, for cheese, for eggs, and then for uh, Alfredo food. Next, paprika. It's a finely ground powder from dried pepper. Okay, you can use this for garnish, for salad, for sausage, and for some food prepared in, um, uh, prepared as casseroles. Parang casseroles po ay uh, processes in Next one, poppy seed. Poppy seed is from poppy flower. Yung nakita niyo pong red yan, it's a poppy flower. And it's used commonly for baking and uh, used for salad dressing. Okay, next is saffron. Saffron is a dry stigma of cocos. Ito po yung flower ng saffron. So yung makita niyo yung red na part dyan, yan po yung uh, ginagamit as uh, spice. And saffron is considered the most um, expensive spice in the world. So, usually ito ay ginagamit uh, um, sa mga Mediterranean and Asian foods. Napakamahal po niya. Eh. Kasi yung propagation niya, konti lang. Konti lang yung nagpapropagate. Hindi siya ganun-ganun talaga na kaparang. Kaya kapag uh, binenta sa market, pakamahal. And then, lastly, sesame seeds. It's found in the pad of tropical plant. Okay, it is used for baking, for tahini paste, and Asian fish dishes. Makita niyo itong picture sa baba. Ayan po ay tahini paste. Ayan po ay gawa sa uh, giniling na sesame seeds. So, yung sesame seeds po are ground or ganyan as ipaprocess po as paste. So, ang tawag po dyan ay tahini paste. So, again, those are the examples of herbs and spices. Thank you.